Okay, so we're going to take a look at the equation. Some of you turned it in, some of you have not. And I wanted to review this with you. For question one, Carla is a waitress at Daybreak Diner and she earns $5 for each hour. So I'm going to come over here for my highlighter. And this is she this is what she earns per hour. Okay, now she last week she earned $148 total. What was the total amount that she earned? But out of that total, this included $68. So the question is, is how many hours of how many hours did Carla work last week? So what does she actually get paid for uh, in her paycheck? Per hour. Now, some of the kids, some of y'all were getting a little confused and you have to ask yourself, do you get paid tips per hour or is it just as you frequent the tables that you end up getting tips for your service um, to those tables? Yeah, right? So it's just the service. It has nothing to do with those hours. So if I needed to create a, create, uh, create a numerical expression, I'm going to look at this and it's like, okay, I need to first find out how many hours I worked, right? That's what we're looking for. So we can use the hours as being our variable that you've turned, you've worked on last year and saying that my variable is X because that needed to find out how many hours I worked, right? And so then we can say that we had five X And let me type that out real quick. All right, so I'm going to type this part here. And I'm going to use it as, that's some large print right there. Let me reduce that a bit. All right, so we know that she made $5 an hour, right? And we need to find out how many hours she worked. So that's going to be my X. So 5X. And I'm going to add this in with my tips plus 68 because no matter what it is on this side, on the opposite side, it needs to balance. And that was $148, right? So no matter what we're doing on either side, it's going to be balanced. So that was our total amount. To solve this, remember that you now need to subtract out 68 here and that's going to make it zero. We'll cancel that out. And then I'm going to bring this negative or minus 68 onto this other side and I'm going to subtract that out. Now it becomes, let's see if I can draw a line here. I'm going to underline that. So now I'm left with 5x and let me unline it here. 5x equals, and so what is 148 minus 68? Very good, it's 80, right? And that's what I'm left with. But now I have to get the x where it's by itself. So you remember last year, since I was multiplying it, five, it's going to be 5 times x, and I can keep those together, meaning it's multiplication. So the opposite or the inverse of multiplication is division. So I can put, that's going to cancel out. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then I'm going to bring this over on this side, and I'm going to divide that part. And then I'm going to put my 5 underneath it. And now I have 80 fifths. So now my X is left. So X is going to equal what is five goes into 80 how many times or 80 divided by five or 80 fifths. What would that be? Very good. It's going to be 16. So she worked 16 hours last week plus her $68 in tips. So if I put the 16 here for X, 16 times 5 is 80. 80 plus 68 will equal the 148.
All right, let's move over to the next one. Mr. Olin bought six sketchbooks for the students in his art class. Each sketchbook was on sale for $3 off. Now, if the sketchbooks cost $18 total before taxes, what was the original price of each sketchbook? Okay, so I'm going to bring this over here. I know the total amount is $18, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to already place it there. Sorry about that, guys. Right now, what goes on the other side of the equation? Well, let's take a look. What is the information that I know? She bought six total, correct? Now I'm going to put this into parentheses. And what will I put in my parentheses? We know that, because what are we trying to find out? What was the original price? So whatever the original price is, that's going to be X, because that's the unknown. That's what we're looking for. And whatever the original price is, there was a $3 disc discount to that. So whatever the original is, I'm going to take $3 off of that. Put that in parentheses. And now I'm ready to start solving my problem. Now, we're going to be using um, distributed properties on here. I mean, it's the 6 times x and then 6 times 3. So here this will give me 6x minus 18 equals 18. Now, in some of you, when we were solving it, yeah, you were just solving it and didn't have to come up with a numerical expression. Still did the same thing, but now we're kind of organizing our thinking. Still need to move. We're going to have to get X by itself. So because I have a minus 18, I'm going to cancel that out. I have a plus 18 and that'll equal to zero. And I'm going to bring this over to the other side plus 18, and this is just on the problem solving portion. So 18 plus 18 equals, very good, it's 36. So now I'm going to bring this down. So this becomes 6x, those are the total number of books that we purchased. Oops, let me go ahead and eliminate the underline. Oh, I will need that anyway, right? So might as well keep that. So 6x equals 18. And then I'm going to underline that. Now, because I'm multiplying it, I'm going to, what is the opposite of multiplication? Very good. It's division. So I'm going to divide 6 into 6. And that will, that will, um, cross its, each other out, make it one. So it'll be one X and this will be equal. And then I have the 18 sixths or 18 divided by six or six goes into 18. How many times? So I'm left with, let's see if I can get this part done here. Okay, so now I'm left with X equals, and then six goes into 18 three times. Okay, so now I know, I mean, that, okay, did you catch my mistake right here? That's supposed to be 36. I was wondering what happened there. So that was 36 because we said 18 and 18 is 36. I even said 36 and for some reason I wrote 18. So now X is equal to 36 divided by or 36, six or six goes into 36 or 36 divided by six is six. So what she did was the original price for each sketchbook was six dollars and that was the original price on there it wasn't three because that was the discounted price and when it came out to three i knew something was not right and that was because i accidentally placed this number incorrectly all right but i caught my mistake let's move on davian wants to buy four tickets to a basketball game four of them now he sees that there is a discount for 25 dollars off his entire purchase at the checkout 
So the tickets would cost him only $215 before taxes. So what was the original price of the tickets? All right, so I know that on one side, it's going to equal 215 because that's the total amount before taxes, right? So let's look at what's going to go on this side. He has four tickets and we need to find out what was the original price of each ticket. So since he was purchasing four, four X, because I don't know how many tickets he's purchasing, right? And here, whatever that price is, I'm going to minus $25 for the total purchase. And now we can work our problem. I have to move that 25. I need to, to move that, to let that zero itself out, to eliminate it so I can get X by itself. So I'm going to add 25 to that and then move it to the other side and put 25. So now I have 215 plus 25. And what does that give you? And I'm going to go back and underline it. I mean, not underline it, but um, line it up. There we go. Makes me feel a little bit better. So 215 plus 25 equals what? So that's 10, 2, 3, 4. So $240 by moving that out, right? And now I'm going to put the equal sign. And I'm moving over and I'm left with 4x. I have to get x by itself. So since I'm multiplying four tickets times whatever the cost is of those tickets, what is the opposite or the inverse of multiplication? Absolutely, division, right? So now I'm going to divide these. So this is going to... Right, right, right. Okay, so I need to get X by itself. So four divided by four becomes one. So that leaves me with one X equals, and I'm gonna put four underneath here. Now I'm gonna have X by itself. Place that there. I'm gonna place this over here and I'm gonna bring so X is left by itself equals the 240 fourths or 240 divided by four or four goes into 240 how many times? Well, four goes into 24 six times and I have one zero. So each ticket cost $60. Anytime you need to pause the video, do so. I am going a little bit fast for time um, to, to be aware of the time, but pause it, replay it, understand it. I should be highlighting so that you could see that these were the four tickets. It was discounted at the counter off his entire purchase. This was the total cost. $215 before taxes. And so we can see that the four tickets, X would be the original cost of the tickets right here, but we don't know. That's what we're trying to find. Minus the 25 would equal that 215. And then we solve. All right. So let's go to number four. Alana makes knit hats and scarves and sells them in her online store for $12 each. Now, last week, Elena's store made $180 total. Wow, that was really good. If she sold eight hats, how many scarves does she sell? All right, so now let's take a look. Let's go ahead and highlight what we know. I'm going to switch and do the yellow. We know that for both hats and scarves, it's $12 each, right? We know that. We also know that she made a total of $180 and she sold eight hats. So we know that they're going to be the same price, but we need to find out is how many scarves does she sell? 
So let's create our equation. Flip over to here, come over to my typing, my text box. All right, so what's going to go on one side? I already know I'm going to have an equals 180. I can put 180 equals. I can do that as well. So let me do that so that you can see both ways, right? I know that there is a total of 180 that she had. Each hat and scarf cost $12. But what we know is that she sold eight hats, right? But do we know how many scarves that she sold? No. So that's going to be my X. All right. Now I need to move this around. 12 times 8 is equal to, I'm going to place my 180. And that equals 12 times 8 is 96. Very good. And then 12 times X is 12X. Very good. And now I'm going to start eliminating, moving things over to the other side so that I can get X by itself. So I'm going to need to move the 96. And in order to, to do that, I need to subtract out 96. And whatever I do to this side, I'll put the equal sign over here so it's less confusing. I need to subtract it out from the 180. And let me move that over so that you can see that better. All right, now I'm going to subtract. So what is 180 minus 96? Okay, so if you know it off the bat, you'll need to regroup so that you can figure that out. And your difference comes out to 84. And this is going to equal to, and what I have left is 12x. But I still need to get x by itself. I'm going to move that over here. And here it's going to be 84 equals 12x. I need x by itself. So I'm going to, since it's 12 times x, the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide out 12 so that x is, does it only be 1x and x is by itself, and then do the same thing to the other side. So that would be 12. Uh, let me get rid of that highlight right there. Equals and then 12. So then I am left with 84 twelfths or 84 divided by 12. So it's 84 divided by 12 or 12 goes into 84 how many times? So I'm left with X here. This is equals X. So how many times can 12 go into 84? Absolutely right, seven. So she sold seven scarves last week. So that was really good. Total of, what, 15 items, eight hats, and seven scarves. Let's move over to number five. Tiana bought three video games that each cost the same amount. Okay, that sounds about right. The tax on each video game was $1.29. Now she paid a total of $68.37 after taxes. So what was the price of each video before taxes? All right, so again, I have, um, I'm gonna put my equals, I have a total of, she spent $38.37. That was the total. But let's go over here where we're gonna work that out. She bought three video games, right? And we know that, that whatever the cost is, it's going to be for three video games. Whatever the cost, because that's what we're looking for. We need the price of the videos. Whatever that is, she paid for... Um, tax on each of those, right? So on this side, I know that we have three video games, 
but we're needing to find out the cost of those games, right? Oops, let me, uh, let me get rid of that part. Okay, there we go. We're back in. Okay. We know that she bought three, but what we don't know was the cost of each video game, right? So the cost of each video game is going to be X. And we know that whatever the cost is, I need to add a dollar twenty-nine to each of those videos for taxes. Does that make sense now? And the more we do this, the easier it will get. So now I have 3x plus, and what is a dollar twenty-nine three times? So you're going to be multiplying that, or you can repeat addition. So I'm going to go ahead and put down that it's three dollars and eighty-seven cents. Make sure you do your math as well, and then it's sixty-eight dollars and thirty-seven cents for my total. I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract out three dollars and eighty-seven cents. And that'll be the equal, so minus $3.87 from that $68.37. Now, what would that be? Let me take that height. So I now I have 3x equals, and then you do the math there. I've done the math. And it's sixty-four dollars and fifty cents. But you make sure you do the math, okay? Don't count on mine because I could always make a mistake. So now I'm left with three x, and I'm just going to move that up here. Equals sixty-four dollars and fifty cents. I need x by itself. Since I'm multiplying three videos times the cost of each video, I'm going to need to. What is the inverse of multiplication? Very good. It's division. So I'm going to divide it by 3 because I need to get x by itself. So I'm going to underline that part. So this is 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Equals and then $64.50. Or $64.50 over 3, or $64.50 divided by 3, or 3 goes into $64.50. So now I get X by myself, or by, by itself, not by myself, but itself, equals, and then now divide it out, and what do you get? So when you do the math, you should get $21.50. All right, so remember to pause, give yourself enough time to process, and then move on. Let's go over here for the Paxton's house. Now, Pax, uh, the local pool near Paxton's house charges a one-time fee, a one-time registration fee of $18.25 and 17 dollars and 50 cents per month and last year Paxton paid 105 dollars and 75 cents the question is is how many months we're looking at the months how many months was Paxton's member was he a member of the pool all right so now again I know the total amount let me come over here and I'm going to put equals the total amount that he paid was $105.75. But on the other side, and a lot of you were doing this, but you weren't quite sure because you started off like, okay, I'm going to add the $18.25 and the $17.50, but you forgot about your variable. And if you threw your variable in, you would have been right on it. And that's what threw you off. So, but that's okay, right? We figured it out and you moved on and it's all good. Um, so here I'm going to have the $18.25. That's the one-time charge, right? Oops. And you're right on that adding. $17.50. It's my monthly 
but I need to know how many months. So we're going to be multiplying that together. So let me stretch that out. So that's where if you would have put the X, then it would have worked out. But what you did was try to add it and then subtract it and it didn't come out right. So now I need to get X by itself. So I'm going to subtract out $18.25 to zero that out. And what I do to this one side, I need to do to the other side. I thought I had undead underline equals. And now I have $105.75. That's going to be minus my $18.25. Do the math. And what do you get? Okay, I have 87.50, so I'm left with 17.50x because that's my monthly charge. X stands for my number of months, and that's going to equal. And we said that that's going to equal to 87 dollars and 50 cents. Now I need to get x by itself, so. If this is multiplication, the, of, the inverse of multiplication is division. So now, yes, I am going to divide to get x on its own. And I'm going to divide here. Oops. And I'm going to move this over here. So if I get X by itself, then X is going to equal to what? So $87.50 divided by $17.50, or how many $17.50s goes into $87.50? And that will be for five. So it'll be five months that he paid. He was a member of the pool. All right, and that was it. All right, yeah, uh, make sure that you complete your assignment and turn that in tomorrow. Thanks and good night.